Welcome to this short tutorial where we will discuss the appearance of consolidation on a chest radiograph. If you haven't already, please watch our video on chest radiograph interpretation. Consolidation is the accumulation of fluid and or material in the normally air-filled alveoli of the lung, which would normally contain air. It is a descriptive radiological term that can have various etiologies, however it is often incorrectly interpreted as a synonym for pneumonia. Consolidation is confirmed by the presence of air bronchograms. An air bronchogram is an aerated bronchus or bronchiole that becomes visible as it is surrounded by a pacified alveoli. On this image, dense consolidation has outlined a significant proportion of the branching bronchial tree. There are various causes of fluid and or material buildup within the alveoli. Four common causes of consolidation are listed here. Accumulation of fluid within the alveoli pulmonary edema, is frequently due to left heart failure, renal failure or liver failure. Pus in the alveoli is caused by pneumonia. The most common causative pathogen in adults is streptococcus pneumoniae. Pulmonary hemorrhage causes blood to pool in the alveoli. This may be caused by trauma or autoimmune diseases such as systemic lupus erythematous and granulomatosis with polyangitis. The malignant cells can accumulate in the alveoli in primary or metastatic lung cancer, creating radiographic consolidation. In addition to the four common causes, pulmonary alveolar proteinosis and eosinophilic lung disease are rare causes of consolidation. As you can see from these examples, it is not always possible to identify the cause of the consolidation from its appearance alone. However, Patients will usually present in different ways, which is why clinical correlation with the patient's symptoms is so important. When trying to determine which lobe the consolidation is in, we use the silhouette sign, or more appropriately, the loss of silhouette sign. We can see the mediastinal contour in a normal chest radiograph because the dense mediastinum lies against aerated lungs. It is the junction between air and soft tissue that makes the contour visible. When a material with a similar density to the mediastinum occupies the space next to the mediastinum, the normal silhouette is lost. This is the basis of the loss of silhouette sign. We will now discuss the specific radiographic appearances of consolidation in each of the lobes. Consolidation in the right upper lobe will be seen high up in the right lung and will not obscure the heart border or any part of the diaphragm. The right mediastinal contour may be lost in right upper lobe consolidation. The right middle lobe abuts the right atrium, therefore, with the loss of silhouette sign, consolidation in this lobe will obscure the right heart border. The right lower lobe sits on the right hemidiaphragm. Consolidation in this lobe can obscure the right diaphragmatic contour, but will spare the right heart border. Consolidation in the left upper lobe may present with loss of the left mediastinal contour and loss of the left heart border. The left lingula lies against the left ventricle. Therefore, consolidation in the lingula will obscure the left heart border. The left lower lobe is in contact with the left hemidiaphragm. Consolidation in this lobe may obscure the silhouette of the left hemidiaphragm, while the left heart border will be preserved. Difficulty in lobar localization can arise when the consolidation does not extend to the mediastinal or diaphragmatic surfaces, as demonstrated in this case. In these situations, simply describe which zone of the lung contains the consolidation as opposed to the lobe. In this video we have shown examples of consolidation that are limited to a single lobe. However, bilateral batwing perihilar consolidation is often seen in pulmonary edema. Certain causes of pneumonia such as atypical bacteria and viruses can present with bilateral disease. Multifocal patches of consolidation are associated with septic emboli, autoimmune disease and traumatic contusions. In this video, we have explained the meaning, causes and appearances of consolidation. Do watch our separate video tutorial on basic chest radiograph assessment. Thank you for watching.